So what if you want to use your iPad as a second monitor for your laptop? If you are a multitasker kind of person, definitely using iPad as a second monitor is very useful. We know that your iPad is a portable device, so you can bring it with you with your laptop. Now, I did a similar video on an Android tablet. You can watch the video here, but for this video, it's all about the iPad. So jump in, guys, and I'm going to show it to you quick and easy. Okay, let's set up your iPad. Go to Apple Store, then type in Splash Tab. Okay. Uh, you will see Splash Tab Wired X Display. You click on that, you would see it here, Splash Tab Wired X Display. I've already installed this one, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. Then you can see connect to your computer, right? All right, so jump into the computer and let's get started with the computer. I'll place this link on the description below. You need to install the um, PC version of this one. So you can do this one on Mac and on a Windows PC. That link will be in the description below. Go ahead and click on it so that you don't need to type in your browser. So I'll download this one and install it. All right, if this is going to be installed, then a window will appear, this one, and we're ready to connect our um, iPad. So bring out your USB cable like what I have here. I have a USB to Type-C. That's a GoPro cable, but it will work. Okay, so I plug it together. Then um, there's something wrong here because I, if you do not have iTunes on your PC, make sure you install it so that it will come with the drivers. All right, so I'm just going to quickly install this one. iTunes quickly installed here. Once the iTunes is completely installed, you will see that it will automatically detect the iPad. You can see that one. It's asking for my permission. I'm just go ahead and type in my password. You know my password already. <laughs> okay, so it is basically mirrored together. So that's the default setting here. So what we can do is change the settings. Yes, what's that? Uh, it's still continuing to install iTunes, but the drivers are already installed. So... Anyways, it's working together. We are going to change a few settings here. Right click on your desktop and then find display settings. As you can see, they are mirrored together. It's like a duplicate display. So closer to my laptop, you can see here the settings is duplicate. Just click this drop down. You will see extend these displays. You select that one and then keep changes. You can see there are two monitors already here. We have the one and the two. So you can um, actually identify this one by clicking identify. It will tell you which is one and which is two. So our main display is one. Our second display is two. At some point, you would feel that it's a bit laggy, that the other display is like there's a delay. So you need to find the proper resolution because as you can see on the settings on my laptop, the other screen is very big. And I mean, very, the resolution of the uh, iPad is very wide. So you go here, resolution, click on that display and at least lower it for a bit so that it, it comes close to the resolution of your um, laptop. There you have it. It wouldn't, uh, the, the, the delay would be much better. Okay. So you can see that one. Because um, at first, the resolution of this iPad would be very high. So it's giving some like tensions to your PC. Okay, so you can see that one, it's smooth already. Well, the concept is if you have a high resolution on your laptop, then match it with the resolution of your uh, tablet. If your tablet has a higher resolution than your laptop, then match the tablet to match the resolution of your laptop. Well, anyways, guys, there you have it, how you can use your iPad as a second monitor for your laptop. If you have any questions, guys, just drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this. See you in the next one.